Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. Uh, today I have got uh, an uh, exciting announcement for all, all of you. So we are going to create a simple and flexible content management system uh, using this uh, lecture as Laravel Taxonomist package. So I will just put the link in the description uh, so you can explore it further. So this package helps us to treat everything as content and organize it through the uh, taxonomies and taxonomy terms think uh, what we are going to work is think is like the uh, WordPress system right where everything will be post so for us everything will be content and each content will be manageable through this package so to uh, be in more detail let's say you are creating any system uh, content management system right so you have different types like you need to store events blogs or any news maybe there can be different articles but uh, overall all of them are categories so there are maybe the situation right like this so for this you don't need to create a different uh, components uh, different models for each like blogs news articles you don't need to create that so everything will be managed from our admin panel so like so we have the three for now let's say article blocks and news now you want the new uh, the client says he want uh, something new let's say ABC so they want the new content now if we go in our traditional way of coding what we need to do is we need to create a new table and then we need to update everything right so for to solve that issue we are going to create this system right so where we can add different types of contents and then the contents will be categorized through the terms and taxonomies right so this package will be the foundation of our system so how this package works is uh, this is not the uh, original code of that uh, sorry original migration for that code but the way is something same we'll just have the categories table let's say and then the contents and the categorizables means content can be is polymorphic to categories so one content can be on different categories this is a simple way but we are not going to use this we will be using this package so I hope I, I will put the link in the description so you can explore this so besides that what we are going to create is we will create one cost, uh, custom navigation system and then the content and uh, we'll try to add different types of contents like normal blog post or maybe fi only file upload you uh, right we'll check that and then we are also going to handle those dynamically so for this let me show you the one demo for this so for my own uh, portfolio site I just created a simple I have the category and the content right so here if you see here i have one two three four five five categories so currently what i am working is like so now if i close this but i need to refresh this because i am lazy for my own work so you can see now it's not there right so if i refresh this yeah here it is so now if i need to go to let's say uh, add any projects for me so what i can do is i can just add so this form will be almost same for everything but in future what we can do is so like title slogs and it is already filled up right because i am on the projects this is due to the slog type i have passed that slog so on the basis of slog it will be filled so and then currently i have only a single type of content but we will be exploring different types of course and then if I fill this uh, nice project and see yes, so log is here I don't need anything content will be test content and if I need any other information re specific information uh, for that content I can just add everything on my data and then the SEO part and if I create this that's it if I go back to projects now here you can see it's nice project it will be it's not published yet if I try to click this still there are some issues because it is refreshing all the 
pages because I have not worked completely on this I have just created the system so that I can manually handle it so this is what we are going to create thank you